，感受说起来是心里有点不得舒服的，因为这种影响造成不是刚个人那个不好的影响。Sometimes I really try to understand my unknown boss, but he speaks so fast and weird accent. How am I going to survive? 喂，你们中国人可以不要在巴士上那么大声讲话吗？吵死人了！快滚回中国啦！不是像在办公室里边做工，因为他噪声很大。我们要跟工友两个说话的话，交流的话，比声音要大一点。听不到的情况下，说不定就能发生意想不到的那种情况。干的时候，后来一不小心把这个手就拉了一下。我呢，当时也不知怎么办了。家庭一开始是不知道的，家里面嗯出现生病啦，有什么事情啦，心里面想顾，但是又顾及不到。Well, I understand she has an accent. But even you have an accent for her. In general, once you start knowing your language well enough, most people do talk fast. I mean, when you do converse within Singaporeans also, or in Chinese or whichever language, when I went to studies and my professor there is like, Avinash, slow down, slow down, slow down. After reading the tweet, I actually feel very embarrassed. If you don't like someone tweeting you about this kind of things, and we call it. Cyberbullying. So don't do that to others. Instead of judging them, we should help them and try to understand them, help them to integrate into our society better. Singaporeans in general that I have met is nice. <laughs> it's really nice. Honestly, I I am very happy living here. 说心里话吧，这个礼貌方面，新加坡人确实说很好。在外面迷路啦，或者需要。什么帮助啦？随便去找一个人，他们都会很热心的帮助我们。啊，谢谢傅先生在嗯离乡背景的来到新加坡，努力的工作。我们很感谢你在这里的付出，为新加坡创造一个美好的一个国家。我很呃感激你对我们呃这些新加坡人的包容。And I hope my accent don't scare you away. No, no. I've I've lived here. Like a Singaporean accent. La Lelo. Lelo La. Exactly. See, we make friends now. <laughs>